ever have those days where you feel like you're moving through quicksand or everything's just extremely difficult? So I thought I would do um, a tag video because I really wanted to do this tag um, quite soon. And I wanted to get a video done today, but it was just not going to um, work out. Also, I know that my shirt is um, broken, I guess, for lack of a better word. It's just I love this shirt and I, I don't want to uh, get rid of it. And I really don't know that I could fix it if I tried. Um, I probably probably could sew that, but I can't. I mean, it adds to the, you know, disheveledness of it, obviously. <laughs> God, this day is not my day, okay? It's not my day. I wanted to do a tag. I wanted to particularly do um, this tag, the Darkling tag, as you can tell by the title of the video. Um, so, hang on. A wine spritzer, so delicious. And it's been a bad day, like I said, so you know, it's gonna devolve into alcohol at some point. So I saw Drac Makins do this tag, Bianca of Drac Makins, which if you don't know who Drac Makins is, what are you doing with your life? I'll put her link in the description bar. I saw her do this tag and she did not tag me, um, but you know, I just wanted to do it, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Let's go on and get the tag started. Tag questions. What is your favorite candle scent? It's either between like a pumpkin spice scent, like a cinnamon, pumpkin, like allspice kind of scent, or um, like a vanilla cookie, like Christmas cookies kind of scent. I like sweet things. Food smells <laughs> like, like, you know, baking, baking things. Eee. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, Ichabod is having like He's being very needy right now. So he's got his Nyla bone. He's gonna be happy. Do you wanna see Ichabod? Here he is. He loves this thing. He's shy about being on camera. He's so uh, scruffy too. Look at your little scruff face. Hi. What's this? Is this your Nyla bone? Okay. If I will ever be able to get through this video, I don't know. Um, two, do you have a favorite book? Do you have a favorite book? I, I can't say that I have a favorite book, no. Um, but I, I do read uh, The Vampire Lestat a lot. And I know that that's super cliche, but I don't care. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's The Vampire Lestat is probably my most read book. And I guess you could consider that my favorite. Are you a coffee or tea? Tea or coffee person? Well, I guess that answers it. It said tea or coffee, and I said coffee first. I'm a coffee person. I do like tea, but I'm, I sort of have to like remind myself that I want to drink it. But coffee, like, I drink coffee every day, and I probably have for the last nine years. And I don't think that it's good for me. I think that I need to quit drinking that amount of coffee. Probably bad for my health in some way, and probably bad for my mental state, so. Um, coffee person, but I'm working on that, turning it into a tea person. What is your favorite brand and color of lipstick? Um, uh, my favorite color of lipstick, I guess, would have to be red. Uh, a dark burgundy, dark burgundy red. It's always been my favorite. My favorite brand of lipstick, I can't, oh my god, are you serious, people? I have, I mean, mostly MAC lipsticks just because I used to work for MAC, but that's, I don't think that they're my favorite brand of lipstick. I don't know that I really have a favorite brand. I think I'm really obsessed with the Jeffree Star ones right now, which is what I have on. I have a mix of uh, Weirdo, the black one, and Unicorn Blood, the really dark red one. So I would say, I mean, just off the top of my head, my current obsession is Jeffree Star's liquid Lipsticks, they're great. Why did I sing it like that? I'm crazy. Shit. What is your favorite perfume or cologne? Okay, I have it right here. Blood Amber from, oh, can it focus? Blood Amber from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. It really puts me in like a, a very like balanced, um, almost kind of like sacred, Headspace, my fave. I'm wearing it right now. 
Do you have a celebrity crush? I have too many of celebrity crushes. The top would be Alan Rickman, number one. And then he played Snape <coughs> in the Harry Potter series and that just cemented that deal. Lucy Lawless, number two. I mean, I hate putting her at number two, really, because just Lucy. She's the most amazing creature to ever walk the damn planet. Um, who else uh, can I say? Oh, Vincent Perez, who played Marius in Queen of the Damned. <clears throat> and didn't look anything like Marius from the books, but he was gorgeous. And I just, I totally, pff, Vincent Perez all day long, every day. He was also in the, the Crow, City of Angels. He played the Crow, if you guys know that movie, but, um, and Gary Oldman, love Gary, I mean, there are just too many celebrity freaking crushes that I can't, are you serious with that question? For real, stop it. Oh, I'm too excited. I'm just talking about Vincent Perez, it's so horrible. There are too many celebrity crushes for me to deal with, but those are a few, just a few of mine. Also, I'm gonna throw in there really quick, hardcore Doug Bradley forever, Doug. I love you, if you are watching this. If you had to give up the color black, what color would you choose instead? First of all, blasphemer. I don't, I really don't wear other colors, like maybe like jewel tones, or if it's a dress, I have like a really bright red dress. I would probably be red, like a burgundy, a burgundy red color, like the curtains behind me, that kind of thing. Didn't have to be shiny though. Just a burgundy red. That's like my second favorite to wear. If you could change your name to a stereotypical 90s slash 2000s gothy name, what would it be? I can't answer that. I don't, um, I can't. I'm, can you all leave something down below? Because I don't think that I can answer that really without like so much shame being involved. Um, I mean, the Sarah monster is pretty, like, silly, <laughs> like, that's, but that's my name. I don't know. Um, yeah. Can you guys help me out with that and put a name down there? Because it is so, oh, I can't do it. But it's a good question. What are your top three tips for surviving hot weather while black clad? Definitely, number one, an umbrella, which I always forget. Like we went to, I went to Bath Day with my boyfriend this year and I can't believe that I forgot to bring an umbrella and I like, I, I was melting out there. It was awful. So number one umbrella that really, really, really helps. Number two, obviously no velvet guys. I know just no velvet. Don't do it. Number three, no boots, no boots. You have to find some kind of sandal that is going to look cool enough. It's going to fit your aesthetic and be awesome, but no boots. You just don't. Number 10, <laughs> what song will always make you happy? It doesn't have to be a goth band. Just Like Heaven by The Cure or um, The Cramps. That like, if I put on a Cramps record, and it, but it has to be, like, the, a record. It has to be, like, pumped throughout the house. Can't just be, like, on my phone. You know what I mean? It has to be, like, big sound, like, surrounding me. The Cramps. Every single time just makes me so happy and um, just full of, like, life and smiles and everything. It's, it's wonderful. Are you active in the arts? Play an instrument, paint, write, etc.? Um, I don't play an instrument. I used to play the violin, but I don't play that anymore. And I, I mean, I could play it, but not well. And I, d I really miss playing it, but I do have a bass that I got as a gift recently and I haven't learned how to play it yet, but, um, I'm really excited to start taking lessons and, um, you know, it's, I'm probably never going to be really good at it, but it'll still be a lot of fun to play it. And, um, I kind of draw, this is, this is my art form makeup. It's my, you know, my sort of therapeutic art form place. So I guess I'm active in the arts in that 
that way predominantly. If you had a teacup or mug made inscribed just for you, what would it what would you have it say? Um strange question. I don't know. I would have to think about that more. Um what's your, what is your number one non gothy hobby? I don't have hobbies. Maybe going to the beach. I go to the beach sometimes, and that is not a very gothy thing to do. If you could be a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? Ugh. You serious? I would be a vampire because they're amazing and I love them and it's just it's just the way that it would be. Obviously. Obviously. What horror monster based superpower would you have? Um, uh, um vampirism? I would be a vampire. Vampire, please me over here thank you do you feel confident or comfortable interacting with other goths or gothy people online or in real life why or why not i feel more confident talking to other gothy or darkly inclined people um just because i can say things that i know and i know that they won't be afraid of me <laughs> like you know, I can just have a normal conversation and say whatever comes to my mind and it not only will be, um, you know, accepted, but it will be appreciated and, you know, it'll be a good conversation. Um, and just mainly, like, you don't have to hide your, like, feelings about things or your preferences, you know what I mean? Um, but I have, uh, I'm not very good at interacting with people Sometimes I've kind of bad at that. <laughs> um, bad, bad at that. It's better online because it's better. It's better online. <laughs> Which is more important for a look? Great hair or great makeup? I would say, coming from me, great makeup because I'm really bad at hair. This is like the best that I can do and that's not saying much. Is there something you wish there was more of in your subculture? Just more, um, like, positivity or happiness overall. Um, I know that a lot of, you know, there are a lot of, like, really negative tendencies in, uh, the, you know, alternative or gothic subculture. So I just wish that there was more more of an inclination toward, you know, like, self, self-care and, and, like, positivity and healthfulness, I guess. <laughs> Care to share an embarrassing story related to your darkliness? Oh, God. I, I, I no, I can't. I just, I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> um, how are you at DIY? I mean, I guess I'm okay. But I just really, sometimes I don't really find the want to do that. Like, I buy things ready-made, and sometimes I'll make jewelry and stuff, but a lot of times I just get frustrated with it because it's so tiny and my hands are big, so... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very good at it. I wish I was better at it. Quickly describe your ideal wedding. Um, in a cemetery in New Orleans, uh, in the autumn. To Evan. <laughs> Qu confessional. True, aka true or false. I love watching cheesy romance films. That would be a big false. I always remember to wash off my makeup at night. True. I sleep with plushies every night. Man, that's true. Yes. I have a huge collection of plushies. I wear non-black pajamas most nights. I would say not most nights, but often. I still listen to a boy band that had disbanded years ago. I still listen to a boy band that had disbanded years ago. That's gonna be false. It's gonna be very, very false. Boy band? No. I think Andrew Eldridge is overrated. Um, false. I don't like vampires. False. I don't like clubs. False. I mean, it's, I don't like regular normal clubs, but I love, um, you know, more, darkly inclined clubs, 
I'm dating a goth slash darkly inclined person. I would not, I would say that that's true, but I would not say that he is a goth, but he is a very darkly inclined individual. I don't enjoy graveyards. False. Blood makes me queasy. False. I'd sooner faint than pet a spider. False. But I don't let spiders live in my house. I do like spiders, but any bug that is in my house and is uninvited will die. I don't like haunted houses. False. False. I love haunted houses. I used to work at a haunted house for years. That was like a sanctuary for me and I really had a lot of fun there and haunted houses are have a, a special place in my heart and will always be, you know, sort of revered as some sacred kind of almost church. I still browse Hot Topics clearance racks. I don't remember the last time I was in a Hot Topic because, um, I don't, I don't, there are no, I don't know any malls in Los Angeles that have a Hot Topic in them. I got some bat earrings from their online clearance section like last year at some point, which were just like some bat earrings that my mom used to have when I was a kid and she would wear them every Halloween and I really, really loved them. So I was really happy that I got those and they were like three bucks. Um, so I guess I do, I guess I do still. I mean, it's not like I love Hot Topic. It's definitely not my favorite store or anything like that. Um, but sometimes they have good stuff. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not prejudiced. No. I like a deal, okay? <laughs> I've never read Dracula. <laughs> um, that's gonna be false. I um, have several different copies and I love that book. I think Bela Lugosi's Dead is a long and boring song. That is false. I don't, I don't think it's boring or long. Well, it is long, but I don't think it's boring. Um, yeah, that's it. That is the whole, whole Darkling tag. I thought it was really fun. Really like some creative and interesting, weird questions that definitely stumped me. I really don't feel like I have the, like any sort of authority to tag anyone. Um, but I will go on and tag a Black Friday because I don't think she's done that, this tag. I will tag Caligo Bestet because I don't think he's done it. Uh, who else? Kaz loves bats because you're amazing and I would love to see you do this. Um, also, I would like to tag Victor Morgor, the lovely Victor. I'll put everybody's information down below in the description. Also, if you make YouTube videos or if you don't and you want to start, you should do this tag. I tag you. You can use this as your excuse. Okay, guys, so that is the whole tag. I'm done. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in a future video. I think I have to go. There's a little fly in here.